Hello, JJ. It's lovely finally meeting you. Great to meet you. Everybody out there is like super excited about what's coming up, what's going on. Awesome. How are you feeling? The craziness, the joy, the fans, the excitement. I'm really excited. I can't yeah. wait for you to see the movie, and it's great to be here finally talking about it. What does this movie mean to you? Um, well, I, it means different things on different levels. It means I, I'm I'm. I'm exhausted for the thousands of people who've worked on this movie. It, it, it was a huge undertaking. The, the, the work that these people have put in um, is remarkable. When you see the actors, what they've done, uh, the, the crew as well. I mean, people who are going to be invisible to the viewers, but who just, you know, broke their backs making this amazing thing happen. I just, I'm so grateful to everyone who worked on it. And what you have done overall. I guess. I, I feel lucky to have been part of it, but I, I, nice. I, I really do admire the incredible you know, accomplishments of everyone who worked on the film. It's such an iconic saga with so many fans around the world. I wonder what it's the, the element of surprise of this last episode. What would you say? It was really important to us working on the story that, that we tell a story that will surprise people, that will have moments of, of revelation and, and shock, but also, you know, the thing I loved when I was a kid was that it was the gamut, it was the range of emotions that you felt in this movie, you know, it was as funny and as romantic and as exciting and as thrilling and as terrifying, you know, and we tried to make this one also as, as moving. I mean, I hope right. that you, I hope people feel the range when they see the, the film. I'm sure. And comparing to the previous ones, what mm. would you say it's the best? Because I heard you saying that you were very confident and secure about this last I time. was saying that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> doesn't sound like me at all. I'm sure I, it was you, Ben. I will, I will say <laughs> that uh, I, I'm confident that this is the, the best work I've ever seen a cast and crew mm -hmm. do. Uh, I'm confident that, that the movie, you know, has moments and sequences that are, I think, really special. Uh, but for me, mostly because this is the end of, of the, the line, the end of the story, end of three movies, the end of nine movies, hmm. um, what I'm most sort of happy about is I feel like that, that there's, the story has wrapped things up in a way that works on its own, but is also a very emotional, uh, an exciting story. So that, that to me is sort of the, the thing that I'm the most happy about. The audience, it's curious about everything, you know, uh, wondering every <clears> little <throat> single thing. Why the rise of Skywalker? As a title? Yeah, as a title. Uh, well, I think we, when you see the film, you'll you'll see, but the uh, it, it, it just felt right for the story. But I'd rather not give anything away specifically. Okay. You know. Fans are obviously very moved that they're going to see Leia again. Mm. How was that job done? I know that mm. you decided to use footage from episode 7 and 8. So yeah, well, how it, moving was that? How, I mean... It, it was obviously impossible to tell the story uh, of the end of the Skywalker saga without Leia, mm -hmm. who was the, the, the one surviving Skywalker, but of course... Sadly, uh, we lost Carrie before we shot this, this movie. <clears throat> so I, I went back and looked at footage we had from Force Awakens mm -hmm. and realized we could use footage from that film and write scenes around her, you know, footage we had not used. Wow. So it ended up being, you know, it was almost as if we had already shot one half of the scene and then we shot the other half with these actors. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the half with Carrie had been shot four years earlier. Right. Uh, How emotional was that? I mean, to watch it, those scenes. Well, it's what's what's interesting is it, it was an emotional idea. It was exciting to think that we could do it without using a CG character. Uh, and then when we were doing it, it was so strange because the most important person wasn't there. Mm -hmm. But we were shooting these scenes knowing we were doing it in honor of the character, the woman, you know, and for the story. And I think when you see the movie, you, you know, you'll you'll see it's 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 fairly effortless how she's uh, in the film, but she's important in the movie. She's not added to the film so we could put her in. I mean, her, her role is pretty substantial. In which part of your life or your career you said, may the force be with me? Uh, <laughs> well, when I was 10 and I first heard the idea of the force, uh, it, it, it resonated with me even then, the idea that there's this sort of, this energy that binds us all together. So while I don't think, you know, I've ever sort of asked for the force to be with me uh, <laughs> in life, I've always hoped that it would be uh, for all of us because it just it does feel like the idea of, of of something unifying us is a very hopeful one, and that's something I think is at the heart of Star Wars. Last but not least, favorite character, favorite element, and favorite moment of Star Wars. 
What? Um, uh, okay, last one. All right. Uh, oh my element. God. Character my, and my, moment. My brain. It's Character and moment. It's in the morning, I know. Uh, <laughs> element, there, there's so many elements, but I, I would say, you know, the spirit of Star Wars, you know, uh, is my favorite thing, which is just... It's a bit of everything. Um, character? My favorite character. I think Han is sort of the one that was always the greatest. And uh, I think my, one of my favorite moments is, is when you meet him in, in A New Hope. Thank you so much. Thank in Argentina, you. we love you. We love Star Wars, and we're looking forward for this movie. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Argentina. You. Thank you.